Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I, that was, uh, you know, every win's a big one, but uh, arguably that's, that's probably the best one of the year. You know, um, uh, I guess my memory might be a little short, but, um, yeah, we're resilient. You know, we're resilient, and Kenta gave us a great start. And for me at that point, you know, just – you know, seeing Peralta again and just giving up the double, and I just felt that, you know, um, you know, throwing 93 pitches, that was good for him. And our pen's been very good, and I like the matchups going forward. And, you know, it just wasn't their night, and, and that's going to happen. Uh, but for our offense to respond like that and give up seven runs and to come back and score five runs and never quit, yeah, you know, early in the year that probably wouldn't happen. But, uh, you know, we got a lot of fight in us and, you know, a lot of great at bats. You know, there's not one player, one at bat, you know, that stands above any other. Really, there are a lot of big hits right there. And even that walk from Slyke, you know, so there's a lot of big, big things in that inning. And, you know, Kenley, again, taking the ball with four outs. So, you know, top to bottom, it was, it was uh, you know, everyone's great. But uh, this is a team one. How much do you feel that your, your lineup has been lengthened? Because it seems like everybody is taking quality ABs and protecting one another. Yeah, that, that, I think that's what's happening. You know, I, I mean, I think that you look at Justin, and he's carried us for a long time. And today, that big homer by Jock at the bottom of the order and, and Yasmani down there, too. And so guys are doing a lot of different things, picking each other up. And Howie in the middle of that order has been consistent. So uh, Chase with that big homer. So I think that, you know, you look at our lineup now, there's legitimate length. What made you comfortable going to County for four outs today? Uh, you know, it was, just one, it was just a quick conversation. And, and how he felt, and you know, right there, obviously, you know, Louis isn't in that spot very often. But I like the matchups with the right-handers, and he gets a double play. And you know, Kenley said he can give us four right there, so I just went right to him. You gonna put Kenley on a clock from now on? He's gonna do, uh, get some outs there with the fireworks down. <laughs> yeah, he he might already be out of here. I don't know. Uh, quick getaway on the fireworks night, but uh, yeah, it was uh, hopefully. I'm glad we got the quick night so we can see the fireworks. That's good for the fans. But it, it was it was a great win, certainly. Puig, like a game time decision or how? Yeah, Puig, Puig's, uh, you know, it's just for me is we, we've given him seven days to, to get back and um, he, he's almost there. But uh, again, Tolles, he's playing well. So if we can nurse him to complete health and still get production from a right fielder, then that's a good thing. Is this the first day he'd been cleared to play the field? Uh, yes. Kenta used more uh, two-seamer and the changeup and a lot of ground ball outs. Yeah, he did. Kenta, Kenta was really good tonight. His stuff was sharp, crisp. Uh, he was throwing the breaking ball good. The, the slider was good. And, yeah, the two-seamer was good. And, and the fastball location, he was getting some swing and misses, some outs with the fastball. So, you know, all, all around, very good job by Kenta. I'm not sure that Kenta's had back-to-back -back outings that have been poor. What have you seen from him when he has an outing that hasn't been – best to come out and be able to be very effective the next time out. I think that, yeah, with, with Kenta as, you know, we've getting, we're getting to know him more and more, there's a lot of fight. And even when he doesn't have his best stuff, he goes out there and competes. And that's every fifth day or sixth day whenever he's pitching. But, you know, yeah, when he doesn't pitch well, you just see that determination that he wants to respond and, and pick up the pen, pick up the guys. And he just feels that load of every time he takes the ball that – he wants to win a baseball game for, for his team. Was it just an off night for Blanton, or do you think the overuse is getting to him? No, no, I, I think it was just an unlucky night. I, I think that the stuff is as good as I've seen it in the last two weeks. Um, but you look at the hits that he was giving up, broken bad hits, some flares, and, and so, yeah, there was the walk to, to weeks. But outside of that, you know, I, I thought that he was inducing soft contact. Does that apply to the whole ball? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that everyone, you know, I think, you know, I was, you know, there was a two strike hit by Goldschmidt, the double, which was uh, well struck. But, you know, all these guys were giving up balls that just kind of found some outfield grass or really weren't hit that hard. Do you have concern at all? I mean, they've been used a lot. Uh, what's your level? Of Obviously, you can look at this and say that's just one of those nights, but at what point do you have No, my, it's not right now. I mean, I think that I just look at the stuff. I thought the stuff was good. Even Avilon came in and threw the ball well. and. You know, got a soft grounder from Bourne that ended up being a base hit. So, yeah, we talk about their usage a lot, but they all feel good. And I think for me, the stuff hasn't uh, curtailed. Um, so I think they, they feel good. I think we're in a good place. It's nice to see the offense a little has more. It's been giving you a lot lately. It seems to be giving you more. Yeah, you know, the offense has really persevered. You know, we started off really slow. But, uh, you know, we talked about their track records in April. 
And so these guys are kind of getting around where their marks are, their career marks, and um, that's why we play 162 games. 